This is Derek Does Stuff with some friends. Today's friends are Barbara and Jenna Bush. Twin friends. Derek Does Stuff with some friends. Today, I'm going through Barbara and Jenna Bush's phones to see how the Bushes digitally keep in touch. Barbara, you're up. Give me your phone. Okay. Are you nervous? A little bit. So with this cord, I'm going to have complete access <laughs> into your life. Did you feel that? Well, yeah, it's like shocked ah, us. That was fear. <laughs> First, let's get into iMessage. So tell me, who's Popsicle? Popsicle is our dad. Ah. We have different names for him. You call your father. Well, I have him in my phone as Hefe because that's what his grandchildren call him. So here's a text chain between you and Popsicle that I see a lot of emojis. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Every morning, Popsicle texts me an illustrated meditation. Every morning? You know, you know what makes morning. me feel a little bit... What does he text you every morning? That, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this proves there's a favorite. So here, it's vital that you find pleasure in thinking of me, rejoicing in my love and presence. Now, is he talking about himself? <laughs> He's talking about... Or God. the Lord, our Savior. Okay, Lord, okay. Our Savior. I just want to make sure that's clear. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, no. Packed uh -oh. by the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sweet. What is it? Look at this. Popsicle, Aww. how do you spell your nickname for me? What? Bojish. And then he sent a sweet picture of his parents. Doing when they were better. in the hospital. The first President Doing Bush better. and the first Barbara Bush. Mm -hmm. Your response, so deep in meaning. So, so cute. cute. <laughs> yay. <laughs> I believe a lot of your responses are yay. yay. Who's this? Freddy, our dog. It's a portrait of Freddy, oh, our I dog. I haven't seen that one. And those are paintings that our dad did, in case. He, he's, a pay, he's a pet portraiture. A pet portraiture? Yes. Pet portraiture. Portraitist. <laughs> Portrait tour. tour. <laughs> All right, here I see that Popsicky sent you some gifts. Gifts and a, some gifs. And emojis? He, he likes, likes to a GIF. communicate in a gif, which is strange because I don't know where he gets them from. I've never sent a gif. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that your respond is he he he, you cute Popsicky. <laughs> <laughs> you a poet and you didn't know it. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. So here's a video that's entitled Bush's Dog Bites Reporter Why He Did It. Why did you send it to your father? Well, Barney, our dog, Bit a reporter right? <laughs> in the video. And I like knowing why he did it. We were friends. Come here for a second. Oh. Let me just. Don't come near me, you toaster. God. And your father's <laughs> response very funny. Be safe. <laughs> Simple. What's this? Well, it's just popsicle writing a word. Using writer. We're using writer. I would never. He's have high thought. tech. I, he's, he's very he's high tech. He's sending gifs. And he's writing. using handwriter. Simple. Oh my gosh, there's more glorious handwriting from popsicle. Good, Good one. one. There's a lot of, I don't want to sort of put you two at odds, but there seems to be a lot. You haven't looked Barbara at my phone popsicle. yet. Have you looked at my phone yet? So here we are in your voicemail, Ooh. Beezers. Uh -oh. And it looks like I can find a message from your mother. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's see. play it. Barberini, it's mother. She's calling to chat. Give me a call if you have time to talk. <laughs> Bye -bye. Oh, that's so cute. What is the nickname she's Barberini. 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 That's Marina. when she has too many martinis. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, I've gone into the email now. Okay. And what have you and found? And I have found a foreword from your mother of a poem. She likes to communicate through poetry. And she was a librarian. And it's not original poetry, is that right? Not original. No. Roses Roomy. are red. <laughs> Twins are blue. <laughs> Barbara, the good news is you're off the hook. Excellent. Jenna, you're up. Oh, all right. Do I have to? You've got to. This is how you sell books. You break it, you pay. <laughs> I've gone into your email account. Yes. And I've searched for Barbara Bush, but I think I found a different Barbara. Uh-oh. Will you please read for my benefit this sweet email from Barbara Bush, your granny? Okay. Um, this is from my grandmother. It's dated September 16th, 2016, and she wrote, This is for Barbara also. I love your book. I wish you'd put the waxing story in. And what's the waxing story? Well, our cousin Wendy once emailed me some advice on waxing. She was seeking some advice on um, on <clears throat> waxing, mm -hmm. her bikini area. Her bikini line in particular. And she emailed Grandma Barbara. Well, she thought she emailed me, but she emailed my grandmother <laughs> instead, who immediately wrote back with advice on waxing and nair. Perhaps the other Barbara would yes. be the right person to direct that sort of query to. <laughs> yes. Perhaps. 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 Give me your phone back. Okay. 
So here you are on a stack of your books. <laughs> Does that seem narcissistic to you? That seems very self-promotional, but in book publishing, that's what you've got to do. Briefly, and I mean very briefly, tell me about the book. What is Sisters First? Us. It's us. <laughs> Very briefly. Sisters First is us. us. A book we wrote together. I actually have a copy. I just pulled it out of my bag. Oh, great. I don't know if you saw that. What was most intriguing for me in the entire book were some of the wardrobe choices yes, that 80s. your parents let you post. What I'm going to do here <laughs> is take a picture of this one outfit that I find to be particularly offensive. <laughs> Very millennial of you. So there's YouTube. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here's a closer picture. <laughs> Dear Day, I was doing an interview and they were asking about my particular wardrobe about choice. About my here. particular wardrobe choice. Do you find anything strange? Do you find anything <laughs> strange? Zent. <laughs> Derek makes you do things you don't want to do. Is that what the name of the show That's is? The name I, of think the show so. is. I think Derek so. Derek forces you into things that you feel uncomfortable about. <laughs> so I found a text chain with you and your parents. Yes. Involving a very suspicious looking Instagram account. Can you explain to me what's happening here? Barbara actually dug deep into our mother's Instagram account. I'm not sure when you had the time, but she did. And she found that my mom followed that young man. This complete stranger. Which yes. seems strange because he has zero post and 14 followers, including One of Laura which, W. Bush. I see what looks to be like a video of your daughter. What's going to happen here? I believe she's going to send him a message. This is a toddler cam. Merry Christmas. Happy, I wish you would come to the North Pole with me and go ice skating <laughs> and scoot with me. Love to happy. And this that is that guy. <laughs> that's him. This is his very presidential response back. <laughs> Hi, little Mila. I love you. I can't go to the North Pole with you, but I can go to our ranch at Crawford, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, tell Poppy hello, and I will see you in two days. Santa Claus looks different. <laughs> <laughs> I found now a text chain with you and Savannah Guthrie, your co-star on the Today Show. <laughs> it just starts with an expression, Lynn, exclamation point, exclamation point, we exclamation have, point. We both are in love with Lin-Manuel Miranda. I'm a big fan of Al Roker, but this is a really <laughs> creepy photo bomb. So what I see here is that, Keep scrolling. tell him I'm coming. This is a better picture of Lynn, but I have to tell you, Al Roker's not in it, so you lose 10 <laughs> points. Pepe wrote you back. Okay, so he does love me. What did he say? Not at all. You look particularly nerdy. Jenna, you're off the hook. How good is it gonna feel when I detach this cord from I've your phone? I've never felt better. Free. It's like removing the umbilical cord from its mother. Oh. You're free. I'm like, I'm worried to see what kind of viruses I'm going to get from you. <laughs> <laughs>